Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Video Gamer, and today I am back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Debug Console Enabler for The Witcher 3. So what you're going to want to do is go to nexusmods.com and download the Enabler. But it has to be version 1.31. I mean, I'm going to put the link... In links in the description below for all this stuff here but after you go on here and download it I already have it right here but once you open it up in WinRAR you're gonna wanna go to Steam in the Steam here and you're gonna wanna go find The Witcher 3 in your games over here right click go to properties you're going to want to go over to local files browse local files and you want to go to where it says bin and then down to x64 then you see over here where it says plugins just drag this over and drop her in there like I already did. See plugins. And if you click on plugins too, it's gonna to say debug console enabler.ddl. Show you I have the same thing in here, see? And then also dsound.ddl. See I also have that right there. And that's all there is to it. I mean, it's super easy to do. And I'm going to load up The Witcher 3 here, and I'm going to show you that I have it enabled and working. Now it might take a couple seconds for this to load because my computer's not the greatest. But if any of you guys are thinking about getting this game, I totally recommend it. I mean, if you like games like um, Skyrim and Fallout, this game is freaking awesome. Alright. I mean, once you have the um, enabler installed, you can either hit like the little, what is it, tilde key will bring it up, like that, for say, or F2. And to show you guys, I'm going to try to do something that's going to get myself either injured, so I can show you like that I can use the debug console here. Uh, let me find like a creature or something to try to beat me up or something. But naturally, you know, nothing's going to pop up. Okay, here's something. See, because right now, you know, I have God mode on. All you gotta do is type in God to turn it off, like I did. See how I'm taking damage now? Type in God again. See how no damage is taking, or like I'm not taking any damage at all here. Go ahead and kill these things real quick. Oh. 
But I'm going to try to run away from these guys here. It's probably not going to work. But anyway, I don't know like all the console commands, but you just have to like Google. Because you can add items, you know, add weapons, all these other different kinds of things. Basically, the only two I've been using so far is, as you saw, God Mode. And another one is Heal Me. You type that in and see how your um, health bar automatically goes back up to 100%. Yeah, that pretty much concludes this video on how to uh, install the debug console for The Witcher 3. And if you guys have any problems, let me know. I'll try to help you through them and see what I can do. But anyway, hope this helped you guys. You know, leave a like, subscribe to me because I'm awesome, and we'll see you guys later. Get me out of here.